so the first of our finals as i say will be the men's singles lin dan the left hander the holder up against chen hong of china this is the first time that it's been an all chinese men's singles final since 1997. so we're just about ready let's join our courtside mc hillary atkinson So this men's singles final, Lin Dan, the left-hander, up against Chen Hong. And of course, our umpire there just doing the toss of the coin. That's Val Andrews from Surrey. This men's singles final, the fifth time that these two players have met each other. And of course, the honours are shared. Lindan, the left-hander, 22 years of age, born in Fujian in China. And of course, uh, he is the holder and a bronze medalist in the past in the World Junior Championships. Number one seed in the Olympic Games. Dan and big disappointment for him lost in the very first round to Ronald Susilo so as you can see there the honours shared of their previous four meetings but the last time they met it was Lin Dan that won on that occasion now just looking at Chen Hong's path through to today's final and a third round match against the number 15 seed and Olympic silver medalist Sean Cheng Mo winning in two straight games. Quarter final against the number five seed Bao Chun Lai. Lost the opening game 13 15, but came back very strongly in the third. And then the semi final against the number seven seed Li Chong Wei of Malaysia. And that relatively straightforward for Cheng Hong in two straight games. So now comparing Lin Dan's path through to today's final. Trouble in the very second round against Kasper Oden of Denmark, losing the second game there. Uh, third round match against the English national champion, Amir Gaffer. 
quarterfinal against Lee Hyun Il again sent the full distance losing the second game 13-15 and up to that point Lin Dan had not played against a seeded player but had a seed in the semi-final the world championship silver medalist and number nine seed Wong Chun Han and losing the second game after being eight love up a little bit of a wobble there from Lin Dan loss of concentration but I'm sure his concentration for today's final will be paramount well as always I'm sitting alongside former English national champion and four times All England quarter finalist himself not to forget of course European champion as well Darren Hall obviously this men's singles match is one that you've been very much looking forward to oh absolutely Jill it's uh, it's going to be an awesome match Lynn Dan has looked so good in the first game struggled in his second games and I thought he looks he's getting tired but he's come out so strong in the third whereas Chen Hong has, has had a more comfortable route through but what he has done, he's played ready, when he's got to 10 all, he's played the big points so well. So it really should be a great encounter. Val Andrews, the umpire for this men's singles final from Surrey. The service judge is Ian Ross. And already the umpire calling, I think, for the tournament referee. quite sure what the problem was that she needed to talk to the tournament referee but everything seems to be sorted and these two players watched by coaches on the left there Li Yongbo head coach to the Chinese team and of course former All England men's doubles champion himself playing with the great Tian Bingyi So last final preparations. They will know each other's games inside out. Training together, both born in Fujian. Are ready? Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Yonex All England Open Buttons and Championships men's singles final. So the crowd already getting involved as Val Andrews, the umpire, introduces the players. Chen Hong in the red shirt nearest to us, appearing in his fourth All England final. Of course, he was champion back in 2002 and he's playing against the holder, Lin Dan. these two players based at the National Training Centre in Beijing so of course they will know each other's games inside out tactically will know what so to expect Darren is that an advantage or a disadvantage well as you say that they play with each other day in day out they'll know exactly the, the strengths of each other the weaknesses which they'll, they'll try and pick out but the, the good thing is, is they'll probably be a little, little bit more relaxed because they know each other's games And this is where we see Lin Dan at his best, straight away, up in the air. That deceptiveness he's got, bringing that smash straight down the line. Just long of that back line. And Darren, we've talked throughout the entirety of the championships about the deceptive qualities of Lin Dan. Is it, is it helped by the fact that he's a left-hander or is it just pure technique of hitting the shuttle? Yes, a, a lot of people say left-handers can produce better angles when they're hitting. Um, yes, and I, I, I think a lot of people, you know, do think left-handers better angles, a little bit more deceptive, but with him as well, it's not, not just his deception, it's his speed of shot, his speed of pace, the way he moves the player around the court. Yes, and there, clear example of moving deep into the round the head corner and then following into the net to finish off the rally. Oh, 
that's going to drift wide. Service over. One so we know the qualities of Lin Dan. What about Chen Hong? What what are his outstanding qualities as a player? Well, where, where I've been so impressed with him, he's been so steady all the way through the championships. But when he really needed to make a break, he's played the Two, big point one. so well. You know, his experience is, is a former champion of this event. So, so he knows what it's like to, you know, play here. He likes it here. And playing against Lin Dan, who's current holder. So, it, you know, it's a, a fantastic game in prospect. Oh, that's a super shot for so early on in the match. He reads the game. You talk about his physical speed around the court, but my goodness, he also anticipates so well. Good net shot from Chen Hong, but this way up he goes, good height, cuts across the shuttle. Dan stepping two. forward onto the drop shot. Again, moving his opponent so quickly off it. rally from both players there the defense of Chen Hong somehow getting his racket on that I don't think even Lin Dan expected that back rally carries on he's patient with it though he wasn't rushed but Chen Hong just hitting the clear long We've talked about Lin Dan's deception. And this man also has that quality. Darren about the tactical decision from Chen Hong of, of lifting a cross court towards the round the head side this cross court clear is, is that entirely wise that surely is one of Lin Dan's best shots well exactly he's, he's playing to his strength there you know from that angle he can hit it anywhere and he's so devastating especially when he goes down the line so I don't think we'll be seeing a lot of that from Chen Hong oh this is brilliant In such an early stage in the match, both players giving everything they've got. Lindan diving across court to get it back. Lindan, the younger of these two men, 22 years of age. His opponent, Chen Hong, 25. Mm -hmm. Landed in misjudgment from Lindan. 
and it was in fact a cross court clear and there was I criticising that tactic just a moment ago Just wide. Service over for two. Yeah, it was the right shot to play for Chen Hong. He's had a little bit of success early on. Only just missed the line with it. Slight miss hit from Chen Hong, gets a lift, wasn't quite in position to hit the smash. Quite obvious in, in these very early stages, the total commitment from both these men willing to dive about the court in an effort to retrieve the shuttle. Good judgment. just long of that back line but Darren so interesting because four, neither player three. is really using their explosive dynamic style at the moment uh, obviously both so aware of the defensive qualities of their opponents yeah exactly you know they're, they're, they're just getting a feel for it at the moment seeing they don't look nervous but they're just trying to play a few rallies it, it's, uh, it's, it's very no one wants to give any points so I give the lead away at the moment very tight at the moment And of course, both these badminton players, superb racket skills. But the only, the other thing that I really notice about the Chinese players, Darren, is their athletic ability. I mean, they really are superb athletes as well. Oh, absolutely. You know, very strong, very physical, very fast. Um, and as you say, shots that normally are winners, they, they can somehow get themselves to it, get their racket, and it comes back. So it's so hard to hit winners against them. Yes, I once heard that the youngsters in China, if they were going to a physical education school and going to be a badminton player, that they spent about a year, first of all, being developed as an athlete before they actually started any of the racket skills. And that's just how much importance the Chinese national squad put on the athletic ability. Great shot from Chen Hong there. This time, 
not hitting it with all his power. Three quarter, little clip down the line. annoyed with himself relatively simple net shot to play quick <laughs> Five, yeah the pace in which Lindan gets around the head I do feel the again the cross court clear from Cheng Hong a little bit flat and a little bit short can't afford to do that it's landed in The quality of the net play now in men's singles is absolutely paramount. Yes, we see from Chen Hong, lovely from the short serve, tight spinning net shot. Just missed it. Good rally. Both players being very patient. Lindan thought he saw the opening. Went for the straight smash, but just pulled it out to the side. Again, we're talking about the net play, tight net, stood his ground at the net though. Nice push deep into the corner. Dan now beginning to pull away from his opponent, the four-point advantage. Yes, it's not really from his winners, it's just a few errors from, from Chen Hong.
you were talking about the net play, Darren. Is, is the net play the most important shot now in men's singles in that it sets up the whole rally? Well, exactly. I mean, you look at a player like Lindan, so fast on net, takes it so early, but what he's trying to create is that short lift because when he gets a lift, you know, it, it really is guesswork where he's going to go with it. So, you know, for most players now, they, they, they don't want to lift all the time. And, and net, they'll practice for hours on end, just spinning the shuttle all the time, just trying to get that lovely spin close as they can to the net. And it's very difficult to get a good length from it. Once again, it was the cross-court clear, I think, that got Chen Hong into trouble. Oh, that's unbelievable. Lindan really controlling that rally, pushing Cheng Hong, holding him, flicking him off, finally gets that lift, makes no mistake, but that is such a great smash from him. Speed of reaction, speed of shot. Ten, four. Really yes. is incredible, isn't it, Darren? Uh, fantastic, but clever play from Lindan. He pushed the serve a little bit further in, expecting the drive back. That's what he got. Nice drop shot from Chen Hong. For once, Lin Dan taking it quite late. These two players have held the world number one position between the two of them since 2002 over the last two years. And of course, number one and two seeds at last year's Olympic Games. But neither of them, Darren, really performing to their perf potential in Athens. No, you know, that's the event they were training for, a lot of pressure on them. You know, they've been number one throughout the year, expected to win or get to the final. And, and sometimes just on the day, it didn't happen for them, you know, and, and they must have been so disappointed. But again, they're coming back, Lin Dan in tremendous form, Chen Hong reaching yet another All-England final. He reaches out with that racket arm to take the shuttle as early as possible. He's addressing the shuttle practically at the top of the tape. from Lin Dan to some of the net play. How did he get those back? But Lin Dan does this to all his opponents. They have to work so hard to actually win a rally. Exactly. Points that you think, that's, that's it, it's in the bag. Get the serve. All of a sudden, somehow stretches out. It just claws its way back over the net. And it's, you've got to start again against him. Oh, 
Chen Hong has had six opportunities to progress his score from four. Hasn't been able to convert. It really is so difficult to know how you win the rally against Lin Dan. Yes, and I think that's what's happening with Chen Hong at the moment. He's just trying that bit too much. He's, he's trying to play a little bit too tight to lines. Not much margin for error. Yeah, for once, Lin Dan, he knows he chose the wrong option there. Chen Hong already moving for the cross goal. Lin Dan played it back to him, put himself in trouble. Five, twelve. And finally, Chen Hong gets his score moving once more. Court clear, getting a player into trouble. Yes, I think Lindan just had a little look, thought it might be going out, hesitated, then hit the short clear, which put himself in trouble. And Lindan having quite a lot of success with that smash to the backhand defence of Chen Hong. That he should have played just seemed to snatch at that a little. Yes, I think it is in his anticipation to get there early. Just rushed the shot a little bit. Another example of the importance of net play. to play to the net again just trying to play too tight he knows he has to get it tight with Linda being so good so quick at the net oh that's lovely deception yeah, be pleased with that just brushes across the shuttle Call just wide. Chen Hong can't believe the ball. Goodness me, that was close. The International Badminton Federation experimenting with a new rule that the umpire can overall a line judge, but only when they have clear sight of where the shuttle has landed.
Well, once again, so fast coming forward, had so many options. The big smash immediately knew that the reply would have to come back to the net. And Lindan was ready and waiting. It's game point. play from Chen Hong that time he got the length perfect stepped in on the drop shot from Lin Dan oh, tremendous Huge effort by Chen Hong to move quickly to get behind the shuttle. Yeah, a little bit of indecision from Chen Hong, thought he'd hold and push, but Lin Dan just didn't move, stayed at the base. Second game points. And this time he gets it with an error from Chen Hong on the return of serve. 31 minutes for the opening game for Lindan, the holder. 15-8. because when you take the shuttle early you have so many options 90 second timeout in between the first two games and both players left to their own devices by the Chinese coaching staff Play. Well, the big question, Darren, is what on earth can Chen Hong do to stop Lin Dan? Because where is he going to win his points from? Yes, it, it did seem that Lin Dan played a very controlled game, took his chances, moved Chen Hong around at pace. I think what Chen Hong has got to look at is that in every match or, or most matches in this tournament, Lin Dan has struggled in the second set a little bit. So he'll know, you know, if he, if he can dig in, he might have that little lapse of concentration, get himself back into it. Oh, phenomenal. 
coming off. We're talking of lapses of concentration, of course, Lin Dan in the semi-final yesterday One against love. the number nine seed Wong Chun Han was a game and eight love up before losing that second game. So we know that he does sometimes have problems with that concentration. You're absolutely right. But Chen Hong has got to rely on that happening. Yes, I mean, but he's played that rally, the first rally, really good. He, he pushed himself to move that little bit quicker uh, to get in on that net, pulled Lin Dan cross net very good shot so you know hopefully he, he, he can work his way back in this well, one of the few unforced errors from Lindan really had pulled his opponent out of position obvious opportunity for the winning smash but just pulling it wide wide interesting Darren the fact that Lindan yesterday in his semi-final had his left knee bandage but now the right knee as well we he's, he's had some very very long games um, so he will be getting some aches and pains and strains so I think it's just a temporary measure that they've put on it but as soon as he, he's got warm his adrenaline's flowing he's into this match now that that won't be bothering him at all Simple errors from Chen Hong. That is perfect. The deceptive punch clear did the damage that was the one Lin Dan off balance as he played the clear in return oh my goodness that only just clipped the line his confidence and good constructed that rally well this time getting to the net early nice and early but so deceptive beginning to find the lines with his attacking play yes in the first game he was missing some of these shots not by far but now he's just brought them in but that's a sort of margin he has to find to win the points against Lindan
perhaps slightly fortunate to get away with that, Chen Hong. Playing the shuttle right onto Lin Dan's forehand. Rare mistake from Lin Dan. Hasn't made many. Just looking at the results from Lin Dan throughout this tournament three times already. He's won the opening game and then lost the second game before coming back to win the third. Is, is this going back to his concentration thing or, or what is the problem? Well, I think you know Chen Hong's done well himself in the fact that he started to hit the lines more and be a little bit more patient in the rallies. And you've seen a couple of mistakes from, from Lin Dan. But uh, as you say... He plays at such a high level that he perhaps can't keep it up for two games consistently. He has a little fall always in the second game at the moment. And um, it's just whether he can get back to, to his form again. in the National Indoor Arena. Over 4,500 spectators. It is a sellout, though, and we're expecting more later on for the English fans to come in to see Nathan Robertson and Gail Ems in the mixed doubles final. That will be the fourth final of the day. That's better from Lin Dan. This time, make it no mistake of it. Good power. Oh. Oh, that was good judgment, Chen Hong. Looked at the shuttle. Drifted wide. Yeah, good pressure from Chen Hong through that rally though. It was really dictating it. Good pace. Changing the angles of his shots. In the end, forced the error from Lin Dan. Lin Dan, winner of five titles last year. Not only this All England Championship, the Swiss Open, German, Danish and China Opens. In contrast, Chen Hong didn't win any titles last year. Twice a runner-up in Korea and Eight Indonesia. Three. Great deception from Lindan from serve. Just held the racket, saw the gap. 
nice push into the corner. That's a perfect little push. It's landed on the line. Four, eight. Nice play from Chen on. Up he goes. Again, varying his attack at the moment. Unbelievable. Apologises for his good fortune. But that is incredible skill. Spinning the shuttle from so low down, hitting the top of the tape. Chen Hong growing in confidence now. Ten, four. Starting to play the net, forced the pace a little bit more. Rally that time, Chen Hon still trying to play the net, just a little bit too tight. The problem that both these players have got, of course, Darren, is that if it's not uh, almost a net cord, then their opponent is likely to try and attack the net play and, and brush it off the top of the tape. Yes, you know, as he, as he, he didn't com quite commit to the net shot there, he, he saw Lindan coming in very fast, just took his eye off. Both players working extremely hard. Again, we see it's the net that's looking important. seem to me as if Chen Hong is the one who's getting to the net first within these rallies now in the second game whereas in the first it was Lin Dan who was controlling the net area 11-4 now the advantage oh it's a 
lovely smash. Do you think Lindan is now resigned to the fact he might have to go to a decider? Yes, I, f I think so. It's, it's going to take a huge amount of effort to try and get back to anywhere near level. So I think he'll, he'll sort of just go through the motions a little bit on the last few points, but really be thinking about the third game. England programme and looking at the former champions and of course Lee Yongbo himself won the men's doubles title. Yeah, great shot from Chen Hong from the back end. Lovely whip cross court. resistance now I think in this second game from Lindan gone in the racket of Lindan as he attempted that smash. Players now don't have their rackets strung so tightly. Often see players breaking at least two or three rackets throughout the duration of a match. Yes, I think it's, you know, Lindan wasn't quite on balance there. So he didn't quite hit it in the centre of his racket, hit it perhaps just at the top and, and the strings go straight away. That shot got the short lift, sees Chen Hong backing off. You know, we didn't see Linda miss any of them in the first game half-hearted on that one. Oh, incredible. The backhand from Chen Hong. Hitting the top of the tape and still landing in. And he's earned himself now a game point. couple of rallies ago Chen Hong hit two backhands but hit them straight that time choosing to go cross court 
and it really should have been a simple put away for Lin Dan. But a second game point now for Chen Hong. That's landed wide, and we will have a decider in the All England men's singles final. What a comeback! 15 5, the second game, and it's one game away in the men's singles. Both players deciding to sit courtside during that five minute interval. Quiet contemplation, no coaching staff involved. And I wonder if either of them will drastically change their tactics. Obviously, Lin Dan winning the opening game 15 8 when he really controlled the net, but he allowed Chen Hong back into the match, taking the second. 15 5. And Darren, where do you see the crucial part of the game? Do you still see it at the net, or, or perhaps is it mental strength that's going to come into it now? Well, I think it's, it's a bit of everything now. It's um, we've, we've often seen Lin Dan when you think the momentum has changed to his opponent, Chen Hong, today, but he comes out the third set so fast again. And so I think the start for both players is crucial. Nothing I assume to choose between these two, two players as far as fitness is concerned. No, they're both, you know, just train with each other every day. Both very physical, explosive, fit players. Lindan's probably had the, the harder tournament, the more free setters on the way through. Oh. Lindan trying to rush the low serve. Chen Hong seeing him coming forward just flick the shuttle over his head. shot from Chen Hong he's forced himself to get to that net but what a hard shot to play cross court net shot what? oh cool just long I was about to say what an incredible defensive shot on the backhand side from Chen Hong. Oh my word. Well, that can only have missed by a whisker. Great net play. Seven over three one. Yeah, it definitely seems a tactic from Chen Hong. Don't give the lift away. Have a go at the net. It seems to be working well at the moment. once again having the courage to play a net shot off Lin's, Lin Dan's net play and then stood his ground waiting for the opportunity to make the kill and this has been a marvellous start to the deciding game from Chen Hong and now 6-1 the advantage 
6-1. Yes, confidence growing. Every chance he's getting is making the most of at the moment. Missed it. Just wide. one advantage in this deciding game in only just over five minutes this is extraordinary Darren you talked about the importance of a good start but neither of us thought this would happen no normally we're used to seeing Lin Dan come out and take the game towards his opponents but Chen Hong at the moment is, is playing so well obviously around the net is, is awesome at the moment and that's where he's winning his points from Eight, one. Play. Ah! well Lindan now seems to have lost all confidence not really sure what to do no it's a, a, a total turnaround used to dominating but you know the relatively easy shot here he's the one that's making the unforced errors and once again the threat Ten. of Chen Hong about to leap towards the net to try and knock off the net shot forces Lin Dan into error sensational well in the opening game Chen Hong was struggling with his backhand defense and now he's found his form and is able to play shots like that missed it the unforced errors are all too frequent now from the racket of Lindan yeah you can see that the spring in the step of Chen Hong Lindan in all sorts of trouble It's all one-way traffic now, and it's all in favour of Chen Hong. Two points away from his second All England title.
clenched fist and the squeal of delight from Chen Hong. This has been the most incredible deciding game. He has totally dominated. And here he is on championship points. Lovely cross court smash from Lindan, but really I think it is a little bit too late now. Oh, that's perfect placement. The little hold and push from the net. Second match point. decisive weapon what a comeback by Chen Hong to regain his all England crown former champion of course in 2002 when he beat Buddy Santoso in the final runner up in 2001 and runner up in 2003 his second All England crown from his fourth All England final. So confirmation of the score. Chen Hong the champion, 8-15, 15-5, 15-2. In the summer, ladies and gentlemen, we make this presentation to the Ensigles finalists. So Chen Hong absolutely delighted with that victory, and rightly so. Came into the tournament as only the number four seed, although he's been the world number one in the past. Really looks so determined after the disappointment of last year reached two finals in 2004 lost them both was the number two seed at the Olympic Games in Athens and lost in the quarter-final to Sean Xiang Mo of Korea but he's come back to these All England Championships in absolutely tremendous form so the players get ready for the presentation we'll join our courtside MC John Gowers Ladies and gentlemen we're delighted to welcome back to Birmingham Mr. Yogiyama Chairman of Yogi's Company Limited who as you've already heard have been sponsoring us for the last 22 years we're delighted to see you back. He's accompanied onto the podium by Dylan Andrew, our president of the Badminton Association of England, and Mrs. Brenda Andrew. Firstly, Mr. Andrew will present commemorative medals to the umpire Val Andrews and the service judge Ian Ross. So 
So the umpire and the service judge getting medals to remember this occasion from the chairman of the Yonix Company, Mr. Yoni Yama. From China, Lindan. Winner 12 months ago, Lindan has to settle Mr. for Yoni second Yama best this year. Is presenting him with his check. And Brenda Andrew presents the runners-up medal. Obvious disappointment for Lindan. Lindan! Just lost his way after securing the opening the game. But we'll see him back Yonex another Lindan, year, I'm sure of that. Open men's singles champion, also from China, Chen Hong. His second All England title. Chen Hong, the 25-year-old from Fujian in China. He's had a superb Mr. tournament. Mr. is presenting Chen Hong has only with dropped the two games throughout dollars. this year's championships. In the quarter-final against the number five seed, Bao Chun Lai. And again, obviously, in the, the final medal. here today. And finally, the Silver Challenge Trophy presented by Bill Andrew. Ladies and gentlemen, Chen Hong. Ladies and gentlemen, they will return shortly for photographs. Now can we invite both players to take a lap of honour?